Selena. I gotta tell you, honey, I'm a little bit worried about your daddy. Oh, boy. Honey, I know it's his plane's landed fine in Texas and everything like that, but why hadn't he called us, huh? I don't know. You know what? Sweet pea, I think, I think me and you need to play a little game. Yeah. Let's play this game. Now, this is what I used to play with your Uncle Dylan and Ty when they were little. I used to play this game with them. We're going to count the ten, and we're going to wish that phone will ring so hard that it will ring. Yes, sir. But it, we, it, it can't ring before we count to ten because that means something bad's going to happen. All right? You got that, sweet pea? Yeah? All right, here we go. Ready? One little pea, two little pea, three little pea. You want to count? Four. Let's get this one. Little piggy, six little piggy, seven little piggy. You comfortable? What? Me and you like this? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, you haven't told me you love me in, gosh, <laughs> five minutes. Oh, my goodness, I'm falling behind. <laughs> I love you. Well, then. How about taking a steep hike with me? Oh, oh no, not more roughing it nature stuff. Well, I was thinking about going back upstairs. Oh, that kind of nature stuff. Mm -hmm. Try and stop me. Ah, oh, now I think you got the wrong guy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Phone still off the hook? Yes. Uh, you know what? You go on back upstairs, uh -huh. and I'll take please. care of him if you want me to. Please. <laughs> Dylan! Ah, listen, I am so sorry to Let intrude. Let me guess. Please. You're here because you want to talk to Marty about the Carpenter Foundation. Well, she's, uh, she's busy right now, but uh, you know what? I'll tell her if you came by. No, actually, actually Dylan, uh, I was here to see you. Hung out all night. Mr. Community Man never showed. Think you maybe we scared him away? Damn, you ain't that ugly, bro. No, it don't matter, man. I know he's gonna come back. He thinks he's so good. He thinks he's so bad. He thinks nothing's gonna happen to him, bro. Yo, you just tell me when he comes around, that's all. You want me to go back? That's right, man. I need your eyes, Tico. Yo, I guarantee you he comes around the minute the five O splits, bro. The minute they say everything is clear, did it come strutting in there like nothing's going to happen to him? That's when I'm going to show up, bro. I'm going to show up and say, Pasa tonto. Want to shoot a few? Hello? Oh, uh, what's up, Mickey? No, no, I was just on my way to work. Yeah, yeah, I, I got the gun. No, oh, man, don't worry about that. There's no going back now. We're gonna make Luis pay for what he did to Eddie. All right, man. Later. There's no going back now. Yo, out my lucky charm, gorgeous. Yeah, we've been at this all night, Nikki. Yeah.
sure hope you weren't dumb enough to phone a little SOS home when I was making a pit stop. Hey, Nikki, I'm having fun here, too. Good, good, because you've got to remember what I said. You break your promise. I'm going to make your mommy's life a holy hell. Listen, I didn't call anybody, honest. All right? I, th I, th I thought I saw someone I knew, that's all, and I was wrong. So, come on, let's just uh, keep playing. All right. I guess Vicky's kids are just too squeaky clean to lie, huh? <laughs> Except you put in a lot of Dorian time, and she knows all about lying. Look, I don't want to talk about Dorian. What? Huh? Hey, come on, kid. You and me, we're friends, you know? We could probably trade secrets. That's just not about Dorian. Hey, how'd the old bag get you in the bed, huh? Look, look, uh, see, you're on a roll here. I know, I know you don't want these machines to get cold, so what do you say we keep playing? to hear your voice. Oh, you know me. I was thinking, I was thinking something horrible happened to you. It did. Yeah. They lost my luggage. I've been stuck here filling out forms ever since I landed. I'm still in the airport. Oh, well, honey, at least you're alive. Oh, Mags, honey, I'm so sorry for for getting so worked up earlier, but I, I, was, I was so worried, you know, after I saw that death card on you. I know, I know, but I'm fine. No shirts, no shorts, but I'm fine. Oh, right, well, you know, and then, you know, I saw that vision, you know, with that face, it was... Luna, Luna, believe me, I'm fine. But I have a real problem now. You got no clothes? Uh-huh. Well, I could handle having no clothes if I had someone here to have no clothes with. You got any suggestions as to how I'm supposed to get along without you for the next couple of days? Yeah, by yourself. Oh, uh, <laughs> Listen, honey, I have, I have a promise that I would like you to make me also. Look, I know how much these mystical signs mean to you. Honey, don't, don't you even worry about it, okay? Yes. Don't even worry about please, it. Please, please. Put away the cards, okay? Just for me. Just put away the cards at least until I get back, all right? Because I'm going to be fine. Okay. I'll do it for you. Max, I love you so much. And I love you. You were the luckiest thing that ever happened to me, you know that? Yeah. Well, listen, you give the twins and Al a big kiss for me and tell them I miss them. And I miss you. I'll talk to you soon. Max, honey, what... I was visiting a parishioner earlier this uh, evening, and those kids you brought in, remember the the, the kid, uh, the gang member? Oh, Eddie Velasquez? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm afraid he took a turn for the worse, and he slipped into a coma. Oh, no. Now, his mother's still with him, but she says that he was been uh, calling out your name, Don. Yeah, probably about the lotto that Christian got me to keep for him. Um, I've got to get down there. And I apologize. I didn't mean to be so short with you. Mm. Brother. That's poor Eddie. You know who did this, right? Yes. Um, it was Luis Rodriguez and 
couple of friends of his, they call themselves the Arrows, and they've been basically trying to kill everything we've done at the community center and in Angel Square. Uh, Marty, have you, have you told Dylan your idea? N no, no, I haven't. I'll tell you later. What idea? Uh, you can wait. No, why don't you tell me now? Would somebody tell me what's going on? It's no secret, Dylan. Well, then tell me. Okay. When Andrew and I were having a meeting for the Carpenter Foundation, we came up with an idea about you. Seeing as you're always down at the community center alone and we both know that things tend to go wrong there. Well, anyway, we were thinking that I could give the community center a grant. Then we could hire some staff and have a full-time security guard. Yeah, and, and since I have some experience in this area, I, I thought I might help Marty set up the uh, foundation that would fund the grant. Well, gosh, that sounds great. It sounds like y'all got everything figured out. All the details, huh? No. No, just the idea. What do you, what do you say? Uh, thank you. It was a very nice thought. No way. I'm not interested. Look, that's not the way I want you to get involved down there, all right? Well, I don't know about you, but I am glad that ship's over. Yeah, for all the good it did us. Busting our chops all night long. We can't find Luis Rodriguez. We can't get any leads. And we won't, because those rats run for cover and pack. Hey, wait, Nick. Can I ask you something? Yeah, shoot. How long you been on the force? 11 years, come December. Say we bring in this Luis Rodriguez. Say, say he gets charged. Attempted murder. And it won't be the first time for that dirt bag. God, Nick, he's just a kid. I did some digging, and uh, Luis was an altar boy over at St. Ignatius. Not even that long ago. I mean, what, what did it? What made him turn? I mean, he wasn't always that way. Now, you tell me. Uh, what, what? Uh, poverty? What, do you think the people on Angel Square have a monopoly on being poor? Wake up, Andy. It's tough all over. There's a lot of hard-working families out there struggling to make ends meet, and you don't see them knifing each other for an evening's entertainment. No. The problem with these punks... They got no respect, no morals. You know, sometimes I think the best thing would be just for all of them to bump each other off. You know, no money's no reason for what they do. I didn't have anything growing up. Even now, you think I don't got problems with what we're taking home? Between my child support and my alimony? You know, my youngest kid's diabetic. In and out of the hospital all the time. I think the insurance covers all that? Hell no. Hell no. Bills, bills, bills. You know, they're choking me sometimes. I just... Sorry. Ah, it's cool. You coming in the station? Uh, no, uh, uh, I gotta meet you somewhere. Okay. Have fun. Thanks I'll for the ride. Today. Thanks for the ride. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs> All right, Antonio Vega. Let's just see if you can come through with your end of the deal.
What's wrong with a little donation, Dylan? A little donation? What, uh, $30,000? Or maybe we'd go for a full-time security guard down there. What would that be? What, $100,000? Well, listen, I'm, I'm sorry that I, that I brought this up, but, uh... It's, it's something that the two of you obviously have to talk through, and um, I've got a meeting I've got to chair over at the church anyway, so I'll, I'll put Daddy Velasquez in my prayers. Yes, thanks for coming by. Yeah, and um, I hope you change your mind, Dylan. I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. Look, I think I don't know what you're trying to do. What I'm trying to do is help, and not just you. Yeah, and I understand that. But what you've got to understand is I've worked my butt off trying to get those kids to trust me down there. And now you're talking about hiring some security guard? That would kill everything. Eddie Velasquez was hurt. He might not make it. What if Luis comes back? You want to be the only one down there if that happens? <sighs> Marty, I'm not, I don't feel right with it, and I don't want it to happen. I don't want you spending money trying to protect me. Oh, you know what? I think this is about the money, or if the kids would be safer. You just don't like the fact that I discussed this with Andrew before oh, I talked to Oh, come on. You. Give no, me a break. you know what? I'm really sorry about this. I really thought you understood how I felt about you, especially after last night. That's not it. It's not it? Then tell me what is it. All right, fine. I will. You want to... Petty. Fine. Well, this is not what I meant. I love you. And I love you, too. But I can't do this your way. It's my fight, and it's my life, all right? Now, I'm gonna go check on Eddie and give his mom that lotto prize. And the Lord knows $5,000 is gonna cover all the medical bills, but it'll sure help. And after that, I'm going home. Home? Yes. Home. I live at the community center. That's my home, Marty. Would you please try and accept that and respect it? Please? Dylan, wait. Nobody at the community said it either. Cops all left. What about Dylan Moody? Not back yet. Oh, he'll come back, bro. I know him. I know him. And when he comes back, I'm gonna have a nice big surprise waiting for him. There you go. There you go. You're all dry now. Yes, you are. You know what? I got a real nice bottle waiting for you. It's all warm. How's that sound to you, huh? Uh-oh. You're a big winner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a lucky streak. It's like a woman's thing, you know. So, Doc. What are you doing here? I didn't figure you for a gambler. I'm not. I was looking for you, Nikki. Why? The running away from the hospital caused a lot of problems. Oh, gosh, I'm real sorry about that. I really am. And I promise I'm going to pay you back every dime I borrowed. Well, lift it from you. A lot of bucks, okay? With interest, okay? <laughs> um, I also kind of borrowed your jacket. Sorry about that, too, but it's right there in a chair. Who's that? Wait! Nikki! Hello, Nikki. You going someplace? Thank God. 
Jojo, I'm really disappointed in you. You spoiled my party on purpose. Don't blame it on him, but the party is over. Is it? Susanna, can I talk to you alone for a minute? Of course. When? Oh, don't worry about her. She's not going anywhere. Oh, loose enough. I broke Daisy. Well, then don't fight me. What happened to you, Clint? Come on. You used to have, like, heart. I don't remember you. I remember you, too, Nikki. Hmm? So don't make things worse than they already are. So, I mean, is it possible? Can Nikki stop Mom from ever coming back? Joy, I can imagine how painful it must be for you to see your mother like this. And you have handled things extremely well. But right now, we have to concentrate on getting her back to Landville. Now, if you'll help me get her out of here and safely back to the hospital, I'll deal with Nikki. Well, look who's back. Oh, you got yourself quite a catch there, Doc. Clint, can I have a few minutes alone with her, please? Oh, yeah, of course. Nikki, just don't grab my phone. Fun voyage, boys. So? What? Who invited you? In a sense, Vicky did. Oh, she came to me for my help, remember? What? I spent my whole life helping her! Well, how have you helped her by bringing the body here? Vicky felt safe in the hospital. <laughs> you got me, Doc. I don't give a damn about Vicky, but I'm in charge now. Not you, not Clint, I'm sure as hell not her, and now it's my life. That's not how it works. Don't give me none of that shrink talk. You're not in control. You can't be in charge, not completely. And as soon as you start figuring that out, the better off everyone's going to be. Christian, what were you doing up there? Uh, n nothing. Um, the, uh, I needed a screwdriver. The, uh, knob on the door was a little loose, so I had to tighten it up. It's no big deal. Uh, listen, how's, how's Eddie? I heard that, uh, he went into a coma. Yeah, I was just over at the hospital sitting with Rosa. She hasn't even been home. Well, she just prays and prays. Times like that, all you need is faith. Nobody can take that away from you, Christian. Eddie could die, right? Yes. Ma, don't. Don't what? Don't think about you every time I look at Eddie. Don't think this could be your son. This could be you. Christian, I, um, I wanted to catch you before you went to work. Ma, I can't, I, I can't do this right now. Not, not another lecture. No, no lectures. You've heard it all. I'm not here for that. I want to give you a present. What? It was your father's. I want you to have it. I remember this. Your father... Your father didn't have an easy life, Christian. But Diego always kept his faith. But, Ma, this, this is yours. No. You keep it. I know he'd want you to have it. Love thine enemies, Christian. Turn the other cheek. Your brother Antonio had no faith. He never followed God's laws, and for that reason, he lost his freedom, his family. But you would never break God's laws, Christian. Antonio Vega. Get in. Sounds nice. But I got other plans. Why don't you, uh, go pedal it someplace else? No. You pedal this. 
Diddy and I'm Andy Harrison. We're going to talk. Oh, great. You're Officer Harrison. You, you got a problem with that? Yeah, and you're it. Bad enough I got to do business with cops, but a girl cop. Look, I got news for you. You're going to be needing me on Listen, the outside. I'm putting my life on the line doing this little job for the 5 -0. And you're my protection. You're who they sent me. You got it. No, what I got is screwed. Who's gonna protect you, huh? Who they send in to take care of you? I'm gonna take care of myself and your sorry butt, too. That is my job. Now, why don't you just do yours? For the last time, I said get in. twins are asleep, and I've just been doing a little work here. Wow. Is this, uh, some kind of special religious holiday for you? No, I, um, you know, I really should, uh, do the altar once a week, but, mm. you know, you never know when you're gonna need a goddess's help. Actually, that's why I came to see you. I need your help. Really? Is something happened? What's wrong? Well, Dylan will listen to you, wouldn't he? Well, about what? <laughs> something happened, honey? I wanted to hire a security guard for the community center, just one guard. And Dylan, he blew, blew a fuse. See, I just can't deal with him being down there alone all the time. I, anything could happen. Did something happen at the center? What is it? You can tell me. Okay, well, Eddie Velasquez, he's one of the neighborhood kids. He was attacked. He was cut very badly. Dylan stopped the attack. What I'm afraid is that um, the guy who hurt Eddie, Luis Rodriguez, I'm afraid he's going to come back and go after Dylan. Louis? He's one of the arrows. Describe him to me. What does he look like? Dark hair, dark eyes, very thin face, angry. I mean, you can feel it as soon as you see him. I don't know. Why, you haven't seen him, have you? Oh, no, no, no. I just, you know, just in case I did, you know. Well, I'm going to be sure to tell Dylan, huh? And I'll, I'll, I'll do it today, as soon as I finish this, okay? Okay, well... Would you call me? <laughs> Tell me what he has to say. Yeah, yeah, I sure will. And, um, thanks for telling me. No, thank you. Yeah, I'll see myself out. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Maybe it's not Max who's in trouble at all. Maybe it's Dylan. All right, I've been patrolling the Angel Square area for over a month now. I'm a familiar face. Anyone sees us together will be suspicious. Oh, no? No. Because I'm going to put out the word. I'm going to tell everybody that I'm afraid you're going to try to head up the prize again, so I'm keeping my eye on you. Meanwhile, we meet up on the street. You just pretend we're on lousy terms. You got that? Yeah, well, guess what? I won't have to pretend. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What for? You got more rules. No, no, I... I just want to say I think what you're doing is a great thing. Look, okay, if we can... If we can smoke out the cop who's peddling guns to the kids in East Land... Hey, might be... let's get something straight. I took the deal. But it was for my reasons, okay? I'd do anything to get out of that prison. But the last thing I'm looking to do is make nice with the cops, including you. I don't give a damn what the cops want. You got that? I got that. Now you get this. If there's ever anything I should know, you give me a call. Don't worry. I got a good memory. Hey, wait a second. Where am I gonna find you? Where's home? Part of the deal, Vega. Where are you living? Your mother's? No. Where? I don't know yet, okay? Once I find the place, you'll be the first to know. Top of the list on my uh, housewarming party. Bring a toaster. Christian, mirame. Well, 
We can't do this right now. Look, we're both, we're both late for work. I mean, I heard you, okay? All right. Well, I am late. I have to run. Will you lock up? Yeah, I'll lock up. Okay. You work hard. Oh. And do me a favor, Christian. Come straight home tonight for me. Oh. And stay away from the Buchanan. Oh, Ma, come. Now, come on, Christian. You know how much I like Jessica. But her father has made things very clear. Oh, yeah. He made them real clear. Mm hmm. Just shipped her away to somewhere, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Well, perhaps things are for the best, huh? I love you. I love you too, Ma. Work hard. Te veo ahorita. Who's this? Oh, the, the butler, right. Um, uh, is Jessica there? Uh, uh, Rob. My, my name is Rob. I, I, we, we have a lot of the same classes. We go to the same school. Um, could, could, I, could I speak to her? Arizona? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I was just hoping she hadn't left yet. I, uh, did, did she have a number where I could call her at? Um, I, I really need to speak to her. Oh. Uh. All right, uh, no, no, no message. That's okay. Okay. Thank you. She's weird, you know? I mean, being with Mom, she's not really Mom. I know, Joey, I know. You know, um, Susanna never really answered my question. But what if she's telling the truth? What if Nikki can't keep Mom from coming back? Oh, yeah? If I'm not in charge, who brought us here? You have control of the body, but that never lasts. Gone on this time. It can't. You're only a part of the system. And say what you will, I know you care about Nikki. You have to. You've done so much to protect her. Well, she had her shot. It's my time now. Please, let me work with her. It will help all of you. All of who? Them? I don't care about them. Screw them. Listen, Nikki's got problems? Tough. They're her problems. Screw her, too. Doc, you got to know better than anybody what I had to put up with all these years. I'm sick of it. Now it's my turn. All right, I'm not going to argue with you. It's possible that you really don't want to help Vicky. Real possible. But what about everyone else? Maybe they don't agree. Maybe I should be talking with Tommy and Tori. <laughs> Fat chance. You know, Doc, you got them real worried. Nobody wants you around. No one? No. I'm sure if you ask, some of the others would disagree. Maybe some of them wouldn't appreciate how you abducted Vicky and brought her to a place like this, making a spectacle of yourself. Jane would have a cow. <laughs> oh, really? Would she? Oh, Jane would hate this place. You know, well, I'll never know that unless I get a chance to talk to her. And if I can't, I guess I'll have to tell Clint I've done all I could. He'll have to make the arrangements to have you taken back to the hospital where you'll be placed in a locked ward. I can only do so much, you know. Dr. Heaven, wait, please. Yes. Nikki? No. No, I'm not Nikki. Uh, doctor, my name is Jean Randolph. And, and you are quite right. I don't like what Nikki has done, not at all. Pleasure to meet you, Jean. I'm Suzanne. I know you are. I must tell you, Doctor, I'm absolutely appalled by this entire episode. I, uh, I mean, this disgusting, 
you know, it's like typically. Jean, I need your help. I need to get Vicky away from here, back to a safe place. Safe? That's right. Will you help me to keep Vicky safe? How? By getting the body back to Landview. I'm sure if Vicky were aware of what was going on, she'd want to go home, don't you think? You are most certainly not going to speak with Victoria, if that's what you're thinking. I simply wouldn't allow her out, and I would destroy her. Then I'll need your help. Yes, you do need my help. I will deal with Nikki and the others. I will stay in control. Then you'll come back to Landview? To the safe place? To the hospital? Yes, I'll go along with you for now. But I must tell you, Doctor, you're going to have to work terribly hard to convince me that you really do have Victoria's best interests at heart. That's fine, Jean. You get to know me. And who knows, one day you might even trust me. We'll see about that, shall we? I'll follow you. Do that. Uh oh. What's going on, Nikki? Oh, please, Clint. I'm really not in the mood for your heroics. Doctor, would you kindly assure him that there is no danger? I have promised to go back to Landview with you. Jean Randolph does not go back on her word. Jean, huh? Don't touch me. Well, there is really absolutely no reason to simply stand here. Please, let's get out of this pigsty. He's right, you know, I read all the cards wrong. That's, that's all it is. Just need to lay them all out. No way they can get the same reading twice. Three of swords. All right. Ten of swords. Is my little brother in trouble? I need a sign. Send me a. He might not come back today, you know, until tonight sometime. That's fine. We'll be here then. And when he shows his pretty little face around here, 